Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be creating multiple lines graph, or what we call it polygons, in Excel using Office 365. I've already entered the data for our graph, which compares two classes with the letter grades achieved by each group of students in each class. Now, line graphs are useful when we want to compare two or more sets of data. Does that mean we cannot use bar graph or a pie, pie chart? Yes, we can. But if we use a bar graph, we'll have two or three bars on top of each other. Even if we change the colors, it might be harder to compare the data using a bar graph. That's why we use a line graph. So similar to any other charts that we did, first we select the data. So we're going to select from A1 up to C11. Remember, press, drag, and highlight. Make sure you don't select the total. And we're going to go to the Insert tab, Charts Group, Line Graph. Let's click. And you see that we have two dimensions, three dimension, or area. We can select a line graph. We can select a line graph with markers. You can select 3D line graph. It's up to you which one you choose. We're going to select the line graph with markers. Right away, you see that it creates two lines and it gives you the legend. Class 1 is the blue one, class 2 is the brown, brownish. It adds the series and it adds the values for the axis. Let's change the chart title to comparing grades. And as with other charts, anything you need to do with the appearances, you can either go to the chart tools, make sure the chart is collected, is selected, change the axis title, chart title, data labels, and so on. The grid lines show you some values. You can add minor grid lines for both vertical and horizontal. Okay, so for these options, I'm not going to repeat the same steps. You can look at my other videos and see how do we change the appearances of the chart, changing the background of the title, and so on. One thing I want to show you here is if you want to change individual lines, let's say I want to change the appearance of this line. So I'm going to click on the line itself. You see that only this line is selected. And you can tell from the table that's only this line selected. I'm going to right click to have access to the shortcut menu. And I'm going to click on the outline series on the arrow. Go over here. And I'm going to change the type to square dots or round dots. I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other line. But of course, I'm going to choose different dashes just to distinguish between them. And you can see now, we can compare both classes, see A plus D. Class 1 has higher number of students for the letter grade A, line 2, or class 2 has higher values, and so on. Finally, let's move the chart to another sheet, and this time we're not going to right click. We're going to go to the ribbon, click on Move Chart, and let's call it Polygon Graph. Thank you for watching and don't forget to look for other videos on different graph and charts in Excel.